watching Tag TV. Mr. Call is a social and cultural activist based uh, based in Boston. He's passionate about preserving and promoting the culture and heritage of India among those who have their roots based on Bharat, with special focus on children born and raised in the U.S. By profession, Mr. Call is a certified civil engineer, presently working for the Massachusetts Department of Transportation. In India, Mr. Call hails from Kashmir and has served Kashmiri Overseas Associations as its president for two terms. He has made several presentations to the government of India representatives and international leaders representing the views and aspirations of Kashmiri Hindus. He is currently serving the World Hindu Council of America as a member of its governing council and as a vice president. I would like to welcome Mr. Sanjay Kaur to welcome the delegates. Hello, Namaskar. It's my honor and privilege on behalf of the World Hindu Council of America, Threads organizing team, Threads programming team, and the host team to welcome all of you to Boston and to Threads Conference. I get asked following questions. What is Threads? Why do we call it Hindu American Saga? Why this time of the year? and why in Boston? The first thing about the conference name, Threads. As you all know, America has been built by immigrants. And every immigrant society from every part of the world, whether they are of any faith, any ethnic background, or any color, they have all come here and contributed to make this nation number one in the world. And we are, as Hindus, as much part of it as anybody else. So that's the reason we call it Threads. The, the, the logo that you have seen has four colors in it. And the three colors are from the American flag red, white, and the blue. The fourth color we have added is the color of saffron, which is the color of Hindus. We are bringing more color to the society of America and making it, making it stronger through unity in diversity. The reason we chose to call it Hindu American Saga, not the Indian Saga, because I just want to make one thing clear, that this is not a religious conference, but an educational conference. We wanted to talk about the Hindu American community that has come from every part of the world. This is about a culture. This is about a civilization. This is about people. This is not about religion. So anybody who has their roots in Bharat, of any faith, they are part of. That's how people would identify us from the Indian Ocean to the Himalayas, that these people who belong to this land are Hindus. And they have come from every part of the world to this country to establish themselves, to realize the American dream. And that is what we want to talk about. Our struggles and tribulations in coming to this country and Realizing the American dream and in doing so, once we have been given the opportunity, we turn around to make this place a better society through our contributions. So we want to, like Jaiji said in the beginning, we want to share our story. We want to appreciate what this country has given us, the opportunity to realize the dream. And we want to engage the American society so that we can make life better for our children and generations to come through our vision, through our contributions. Why we chose this weekend and why Boston? The first thing, obviously I'm from Boston and being the host committee, <laughs> but that's not the reason. The reason being the first pilgrims they landed in Wilmot, Boston, Massachusetts. The first colony out of the 13 colony was the Boston Wilmot colony. 
and this is the place where the history of this country took birth. Where else could we have started? Boston of this message. The three flags you see here is the Massachusetts, the Indian flag and the American flag. Basically saying the history of this country started from the East Coast, Boston in particular, and that's where we have actually developed a beautiful society, a magnificent country, and we are part of it. Why this weekend? The invitation to this conference, the people who were invited was by invitation only. And our goal was to get about 400 people. And we were only going after people who are actually movers or shakers in the community because we wanted them to come so that once they go back with all that they may have seen here or gathered from here through the panel discussions and other special sessions we have that once they go back to their community and talk about it there would be a multiplying factor so we wanted those people to come here and I am so glad to tell you that we have representation from 29 states in America and we have representation from Canada. We chose this weekend in particular because it comes after Diwali and among Indians and Hindus Diwali is one of the biggest functions, biggest events, it's like the Christmas and very hard to get people to come to any other event. Right? Some of you actually local Bostonians will be going to some other event tomorrow as well, but it's a struggle. But we wanted to get people who will come with a determination because they are proud Hindus, they are proud Americans and no matter what, they will be part of this conference. And we did cross our goal of 400. We actually have more people coming than I can actually accommodate. So I am not sure how to say no to people because everybody is very dear to me and I want them to come. So some people may be coming on for just certain parts of the uh, conference which is okay. The thing about this conference in particular is like Jaiji said and uh, Rajivji talked about, we have been contributing to all fields of the society, all fields of life. people sometimes do not realize how much we contribute in every field. We have people who are serving in the American army, defending this country because this is our country. We are fighting side by side with every American soldier to defend our borders. We are contributing through philanthropy to, to uh, social causes as much as anybody else. And this is the story we want to tell. And why do we want to tell that story? Because we want to inspire our children. We want them to be proud of what the first generation of Indians and Hindus who have come here, what they have achieved, how they are contributing, so that these people actually take it further in, in, in days and years to come, in decades to come. We have beautiful, beautiful program, as you may have noticed through all the brochures we sent out, all the information we have sent out. The program tomorrow in the morning starts at 8 o'clock with morning ragas. It's a beautiful, beautiful musical session. It will be followed by a packed six sessions all during the day. After dinner, we have designed two special sessions for you. One is about the science of consciousness and you will know a lot about it. And then the other one is the lightning talk sessions. We have actually more than 40 speakers in this conference and there were so many more who wanted to be on the panels but we could not accommodate and these are so accomplished people as you will know and we could not actually ignore their presence so we had to bring in this lightning session where they will come and for 5-6 minutes they will describe what their contribution is, how they have made success their goal and made through this their vision this country and created beautiful opportunities for others. So that is something delightful you will see. Then there were many other stories to be told which we could not have covered otherwise. 
So we have a poster session outside for your sake. We have like 38 posters, I guess, if I'm not wrong. This describes coming of Hindus in this country and other things that they have uh, done over the years and how they have contributed. Please go through all those and uh, appreciate the hard work that has been put in all of that. And then I have our local friend, our local artist, Sunanda Sahaiji. She has her own Madhubani art exhi exhibit out there. Please go and check it. There is a story behind it and story behind each of her pieces that she has brought here. And the first one in the front of it shows the Zekum Bridge. That is a landmark of Boston and if you are from outside of Boston you will definitely appreciate the traffic when you came off Logan Airport to come here. You were on Zekum Bridge. So we wanted to include some landmark as well. So uh, I thank you all for coming here but couple of things. Please promptly come to all these sessions. We have beautiful panels designed for you. Please read through the theme for each of the panel. Our panel coordinators have worked very hard. The planning of this began, uh, began almost a year ago. And these coordinators then chose, the, either they are, some of them are the moderators, then they chose the panel members and they reached out and they will share with you what they have done and how they have contributed to make American society a better place. I want you to be part of each and every panel, follow the time very strictly. The way we have designed each of the panel is that the speakers will talk in the beginning for like 30-35 minutes, then we have 14 minutes of interactive session with the audience. You are asked to please write down your question which our people will collect from you, bring it to the notice of the moderator and the panelists will then respond to it. So it is going, all, everything is going to be an interactive session. We don't want to just tell you, we want to hear from you and then maybe devise something better. That is the goal. To make you stay here better, we have a host team which is working hard, they have this thing. If somebody is hiding in their pocket, just go find that person first. <laughs> go after that person. But everybody here is to make your life comfortable for next two, three days. We have worked very hard. We want you to appreciate what we have done and definitely uh, ask us questions and make sure that we are able to deliver the best conference that we can. <laughs> Only one thing if we recently have seen with what has been happening in India and other things, there are many situations where there have, there have been protests and other things. Though I said this is not a religious conference, this is just an educational conference about us being the segment of American society and that's what we want to do. But there may be some, could be some chance if there is any, any interruption, I don't want anybody to be alarmed or anybody to react. We should not react if somebody wants to say something, let them say. We have few people who are very well, worse with crisis management, they are the ones who will deal it. Deal with it. Please do not react if anything up like that. But I'm not hoping that will happen because we have already started by including everybody and asking people of every faith to come here and interact with us. Learn what we have to say through our story. And if they have something to share, definitely through our interactive sessions, please, they will also interact with us. So we reached out to the Islamic Society of Boston, we reached out to the Jewish faith, we reached out to the Christian community, and our goal is to actually engage the American society. So we have done that, we have done our due diligence, and I'm hoping everything will go good. And with your blessings and with your participation, I look forward to a tremendous Excellent FEDS conference. Welcome to Boston and enjoy the conference.